Hi, I just got access to Claude code and I gave it a spin. My goal was to build an end-to-end -end application based on PostgreSQL, Python Flask API, and some basic UI. What amazed me is the speed at which Claude code could deliver my entire application in just a few minutes. So I'm going to show you something that's going to look like this. I have a database and I'm starting with a blank slate. And this database is going to run inside a Docker container, which is a PostgreSQL. So we'll start with a Docker Compose file that's running PostgreSQL. And then we'll create a database and populate that with some synthetic data. Right after that, we're going to build a REST API with sufficient number of endpoints for us to build the UI. And finally, we'll extend the API to build a, a basic UI that gives us access to the database via the API. While I'm doing this, I'm also going to provide it with some mock UI elements just to make sure that Claude gets my design right. So let's get started and build this application from the scratch. So first things first, Claude code is currently in research preview and if you apply for it, you're going to be on a wait list. Once you get approved, you can install the CLI with the npm command. The Claude documentation has all the steps needed to install the CLI in your environment. Once you're done with that, you can come to the command line and invoke Claude. So Claude has certain extensions or additional commands that you can use. For example, clear is to free up the context and clear the entire conversation history. The other useful thing is cost. So currently this is zero because we haven't really initiated the session. Uh, the other command that you might want to try is init. Now init is going to initialize Claude with the current database. But since we are starting with a blank slate, this doesn't make sense. I'm not going to use uh, any of the other commands that are required to initialize the Claude agent. All right, so with that in place, let's get started with our uh, actual demo. So the first one is to run the database in our three-tier architecture where we want to run PostgreSQL in a Docker Compose file in background. So I'm going to, uh, wrong window, I'm going to paste this here run PostgreSQL in Docker Compose in detached mode. I provided the username and password. This is a prototype. Don't try this at home if you are planning to run this in production. So uh, once I provide this instruction, what Claude does is it basically creates the Docker Compose file. There we go. And then it basically tries to connect to it from the command line. So now this is launching the Docker Compose file. Uh, we can test this with, there we go. So Postgres is now launched as a container and it is checking whether my psql client is installed or not. I already have it in the system, so it connects uh, using psql. Okay, so now it comes back and tells that the PostgreSQL is now running in Docker and you're connected via the CLI. That's perfect. So once that is done, I want to go to the next step where I want to create the database called clinic and populate that with some synthetic data. I have given enough instructions like use primary keys and foreign keys to avoid duplication of data, follow best practices for schema design. Uh, I don't want additional things like indexes and views to be created. I even provided those instructions. So let's see uh, what Claude does with the backend. So now it is connecting to PostgreSQL and it's going to create the database followed by the schema and then it's going to populate uh, all the tables with some sample data. Okay, so now it has gone ahead and created the database. Uh, I actually want to test this with Okay, so I'm connected via the DB waiver community edition. So let's look at clinic. Let's look at the tables. So we have specialties, patients, doctors. So when I look at this, it has gone ahead and created the schema, which is pretty cool. So the database is in place. You can even look at some sample data that it created. Uh, it also created the patients. So this is the patient's uh, schema and it populated 
15 rows which is pretty cool so now let's go ahead and create the rest api interface so i am going to prompt claude to now create a new directory called api and create the api layer inside that okay so now the next step is also done it basically created the standard CRUD operations for all tables and it also created custom endpoints and it gave me step-by-step -step instructions to basically launch the API server and the client. What I like about Claude compared to other CLI agents is it summarizes what it did and also suggests the next steps. So let me switch to my other terminal. Now I go to the API directory, I source uh, the virtual environment and then I'm going to launch the flask server and similarly I'm going to now launch the test client that it created called test API so let's run this okay now there are some errors but it also went through some uh, endpoints so what I'm going to do is I'll come back to this and say run the test client and fix the errors so it's now going to run the same test client and it's automatically going to fix any errors that we may see Okay, so now the client has also, uh, the client has been generated and it, it, it now has, okay. So now we are done with testing the API. You can see the green tick marks that came out of uh, all the tests. So the API is now done. The next step that I want to do is to show the mock UI. So I have uh, a UI that looks like this. And I also have one more, uh, which will look like this. So basically I want to provide these mockups to the, um, to the agent and then ask the agent to develop the, uh, the UI that looks similar to this. So let me copy these two to my current directory and then copy and paste the final prompt that says build a front end that looks like the mockups. So not this and here in the agent window. So okay so now it's going to create a new directory called app and within that it's going to create the front end to access the API. So now we can actually see there is requirements.txt that is getting created and very soon we'll have the uh, client side Python file that's embedding both HTML and Python code uh, created in this directory. Okay, so now the client is also generated and it gave us a good summary of what it did. So all we have to do is again go into the app directory, source the environment and run this command which is client.py so let's run this and now woohoo look at this it has created a fantastic ui which is better than what i gave as the uh, mockup so it now can actually filter based on the speciality that functionality is not implemented yet uh, but you can actually look at all doctors and now it created cards for each doctor. You can also click on a specific speciality and it shows all the doctors uh, within that. So now this is pretty cool. So as soon as you click on a specific department or the speciality of a doctor, you get to see the uh, list of doctors for that. So you can hopefully search by doctor name so 
I can type the doctor name and it even filters based on that. Perfect, perfect. So this is a pretty cool UI and uh, as you have seen, it was all based on a set of prompts. So we went from installing the database in Docker Compose to creating synthetic data to building the REST interface and iteratively fixing the REST uh, API. And from there to building a beautiful front end that basically looked like this. All of this is done in less than a uh, few minutes. I think it took us less than 10 minutes. Now let's look at the cost. So this costed us $2 uh, to iteratively develop and even fix some of the API issues that we have gone through. And it took us total of 13 minutes, 39 seconds, which is fantastic. So that is a sneak peek at Cloud Code that is just announced and available as the research preview. Hope you found this demo useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.